Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> I just wanted to get on here for a minute. Okay, three different people have sent me three different videos from three different channels, but they're all about the same thing, and it's Trump's little speech. Uh, you've probably heard it, but I'll, I'll play the first part. By the end of the year, we're doing very well with the vaccines. Uh, it says, President Trump, we want to get back to seeing baseball, basketball, and football games. And he, let me back this all the way up. Okay, go. Go. Yeah, I think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. We're doing very well with the vaccines. And I will tell you something. I just literally left a meeting. We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized. So at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. Number eight. System, which we need desperately. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. On our way to. Okay. These are snippets of speeches of his. I cut it off when I heard the first part because I'd heard it's only 3 minutes 46 seconds and that's about, about how long the other video was I watched and it was all about giving the vaccines. So this person has put together parts of other things he has said. This is Kim Fisher. I had not heard of this channel. Kim Fisher. The name sounds familiar. Credit to goes to logic before authority. So perhaps they copied what he did and put up. That makes sense. But anyway, the point is, you still want to say that, uh, look, look what he's pushing. He's pushing the mark of the beast. Don't ever think for a minute, anybody, that the vaccine comes alone. It's going to come with the biometric tracking device that he just spoke of. He just admitted it. This biometric tracking device is going to supposedly just let them know who has the vaccine and who hasn't taken it. And if you haven't taken it, you should not be sitting in that basketball game or that football game or with all those people in the restaurant. But it's going to be much more than that. It's this, I it's, just feel it in my spirit. It's the mark of the beast. And he's pushing it. Okay? So I'll leave the link in the description box. If you want to watch it, it's called Even So, comma, Come Lord Jesus. And it's in, on Kim Fisher, all small letters. Kim, K-I-M, space, Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. Or you can go to Logic Before Authority and watch it there. But he, this might be a piece of a video he did. I don't know. Anyway, enough said. We're out of here soon. I'm just, we have to be. The, Revelation 3, 10 and 11 tells us what? Jesus is telling the church of Philadelphia that you will be spared the hour of temptation. Because we've been faithful, we've had yet, even though we only have but a little strength, we will be spared the hour of temptation that is to come upon the whole earth. The whole earth. Everybody will be demanded to take this. And if they don't, they'll be taken to a FEMA camp. 
a detention center. And this thing, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier. Uh, they're saying that they're going to come in people's homes and test them. Test them in their homes and get immediate results as to whether a family member has COVID or not. It won't be accurate. It takes, I was corrected by the person I spoke about that I'm keeping anonymous. It took 72 hours. Now that's quick for a viral test. They've come a long way, but then they know what they're looking for. They know what it looks like, but still, 72 hours. They didn't just stick his finger and put a drop of blood in a vial and, yep, you've got it, or, or no, you don't have that. See what I'm talking about? Anyway, we don't have anything to fear or worry about. Just more reason to tell others, share these videos, not mine, the ones I'm sharing with you. You look at them, share the links with people that you think, maybe you could put it on your Facebook page if you have one of them. And some of your friends or relatives might just happen to listen. If you'll put a little header, um, see, here's what this... COVID-19 has brought us to, this is some more information you need to know. Something like that. However you feel the Holy Spirit's telling you toward it. Okay? Alright, with that I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.